Hi, I'm Russ with the Piano Outlet, and today I'm making a video for Jamil in New York. Jamil is interested in this 1979 C3, and I'm making this video. It's kind of a special video because I never usually make videos. Actually, I never make videos of pianos in the before state. I figured this might be a good opportunity to show exactly what happens to the piano from because we have kind of a before and after. Because over here we have a 1979 that's before, and over here we want to have one here that's after restringing. But one thing I want to do is talk a little bit about um, what, uh, what, what I look for in a piano that's 1979, and why I would buy one that year. Just some people think, oh my god, that's, that's an old piano. Well, not really. You're not in piano years. It's not old. It's actually young. It's not 1949 or 1959. 1979 is really not that old. And the pianos that I do buy are 100% original, okay? So, for instance, when you look at the tuning pins on this piano, okay, let me pull this music stand out, you'll see they're really dirty, which is typical of a piano that's been sitting in someone's house all these years. But if one thing that you want to notice about them, they're all the same, which means that none of them have been changed. And if none of them have been changed, that's telling you the piano still holds a tune, because otherwise you'd be seeing some of them replaced. But uh, obviously, uh, this is a situation where we're going to take out all the tuning pins, we're going to remove all the strings, we're going to strip the soundboard. This is a, a, a varnish in here which is dark and kind of crummy looking and uh, when we take everything out and the plate out then we can get to it and clean it. But the main thing about this piano is the sound. has a lot of power, a lot of power. I mean... It's kind of bright, which is uh, what I like in a piano, but uh, we can voice it so that it is a darkest, it does have a darker sound because the hammers are really full. And this piano had not, had not had a lot of wear and tear on it. Uh, the pianos are original, uh, the hammers, sorry, the hammers are all original in, in great condition. And, and so you can voice this piano any way you want. So I'm going to play a little something. The piano is out of tune. We don't tune pianos that come in because they're um, going to have all the strings taken out, so it doesn't make any sense to take it out. But I'll play a little something for you so you can hear it. about this piano it has a lot of sound and when a piano has a lot of sound uh, it's it's easy to play because you don't have to struggle to get tone out of it and uh, it's all there can you get a nice pianissimo Fun piano to play. 
But you can tell that down here, these bass strings are already starting to go. You can hear that. But uh, they won't sound like that when we do this to it, because this is uh, about the same year, and uh, this is really the same piano. It's had all the uh, work on it that uh, we're going to be doing to Jamil's piano. As you can see, the clean, how clean it is inside. Uh, we sanded down the soundboard, put a new decal. We put new, uh, well, these aren't new. These are just polished. These are all, this is all the old hardware, but just polished. Now, take a look at this, get a close-up on this, and then get a close-up on the ones on, on Jamil's piano. You see the difference. I would play, but it's really out of tune because the strings are fresh. But uh, and so uh, this piano needs uh, regulation, tuning, all that stuff. And Jamil's piano will get the same thing as we do to all of them. Look at all these pianos that we're working on. We have uh, this is a, a G2, just had the same work done to it. Here's a Kawhi that we're getting ready to put some strings in. This Kawhi here is going to Texas. Uh, we've got another G2 over here that we just finished putting strings in. Uh, here's, a, uh, here's an older C3. This is um, about a 1975 C3. This has already had all the strings taken out. Uh, the plate uh, has been cleaned. We're going to be uh, installing all the hardware, and this is going to be getting some strings. Let's see what else that we have. Oh, we have a... Uh, this is a... This is a C3. No, this is a G3. This is a G3, and... Uh, we uh, have already sanded down this soundboard, getting ready to put the plate inside. We cleaned the bridges, uh, we put new uh, graphite in them, and uh, this piano is going to be ready to have the plate put back in it. There's the plate over there, that's, the, that's where we clean and detail the plate. Over here you can see these are the A-graphs. The only way you can really polish all this brass is with the plate over here on this rack. This one is in the process of being cleaned. As you can see over here, we've got to take uh, some of the stains off over here. But that all cleans up. Let's see what else we've got over here now. This is the C2 that we're getting ready to put strings in. Uh, we've got all the screws out. We've got the duplexes here being shined up. We already have new graphite on the uh, bridge. By the way, this is a C2X. This piano is a 2010 or so, but uh, the strings are really rusted on this piano. I think it was in someone's house near a pool or something. It's actually a customer's piano, and they wanted us to put a player system in it, but when it came in, I saw all the strings are rusted, so can't put a player in a piano with rusty strings. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was informative, and uh, if you need any more information, my name is Russell. This is the piano outlet. My number is 954-803-3319. Don't forget to see us on Facebook or the web at pianooutlet.com. Thank you very much for watching.